Qualifying match number 78 in full effect now. This is the autonomous period. All of these robots we've seen out here so well programmed. Coding is right on point. At the end of the autonomous period, 34 to 24. Blue Alliance with the advantage. Both teams able to, able to secure and score the quintet as we move into the teleoperated period. Less than two minutes to go in the match. Shooting from the near side of the field, that's going to be Team 2056. OP Robotics delivering cargo for their alliance. On the red side of the field, we have 2539 delivering cargo for the Red Alliance. The red Alliance working to close the gap. Blue Alliance still trying to extend their lead. Here comes Red. 2539 Krypton Cougars in and out of the Blue Alliance hangar, grabbing more cargo, placing one of their two shots directly on point in the target in the upper hub. Two more, adding to the overall point value. That'll put the Red Alliance out in front. Now 70 to 54. Blue Alliance regrouping now. Trying to take on those blue robots that are deep inside their territory. 503 delivering some cargo. 510 now on the move. Tiger Dynasty. Dynasty trying to create a dynasty right here at this event. Blue Alliance with more cargo. OP Robotics delivering the mail. 1023 on the move. Bedford Express. Thomas is the name of the robot gathering up more cargo in position to deliver and does so. 83 to 80. 10 seconds left in the match. Still too close to call. It's going to come down to the end game. Red Alliance has two traversal run climbers. Blue Alliance is trying to do the same. Closing seconds. That's it. This one is over. So the Red Alliance had two robots in the hangar that have secured a place on the traversal rung. Blue Alliance had one in position, another one reaching. Just a half second too slow. Ran out of time and couldn't connect. Match is currently under review. Blue Alliance was trailing going into the end game. Head referee will double check with their staff. See if there were any penalties. Remember, we've seen matches already where those penalties made all the difference in the world. Once again, the referees are currently conversing on the far side of the field. The match is currently under review. We'll take a short pause back in a moment with your official results. Head referee just having a conversation with the lead scorekeeper concerning the Red Alliance. Looks like Red Alliance team 5484 had overextended just prior to making their run on the uh, on the traversal rung. Because of that, their traversal rung climb will not count 
and that may change the complexion altogether. Waiting on our lead scorekeeper to tabulate the results with this new information. We'll put the data on the screen, and here it is. Blue Alliance will come out on top. Blue Alliance will win this one by just one point. Once again, the Wolfpack was inside their hangar but had overextended prior to making their climb. That disqualified their traversal run climb, and that gave the Blue Alliance the win by one point. Coming up next, qualifying match number 79.